What is up, everybody? This is Kaz from Everywhere Records. I'm going to make a video about. I don't if you have that kind of energy to make a video, you should probably. I, I just made a quick melody. It's nothing crazy. It's just. <laughs> half step down so that's d sharp c sharp g sharp f sharp or yeah f sharp a sharp d sharp um nothing crazy and it's four six four seven two they're basically just octave chords so All I'm doing here is, um, I didn't like how the last note sounded, it was a bit short, so all I did was really record in a quick, uh, longer version of that note, drop it in. The beauty of, uh, digital music, I know. What I'm doing here is just making everything, making sure everything's on a pro transient mode and in their, in its own mixture track. What this does is, eventually I'm gonna have to chop all these up in there to stretch them together, and... I'll end up having a lot of individual files and what this does is pretty much just save me time down the line and I won't have to individually go through every audio file and put it in a mixer, it'll already be in the mixer. So I can consolidate it as one file super easily, no hassle. Also the way you render is just uh, put something in the mixer track, click the button on the bottom and then Alt R on your keyboard. Quick tip, if you're recording guitar you most likely have some sort of chromatic tuner. Uh, if you're like me and have trouble knowing what notes you're playing, um, just check it, just play the notes you're playing, look at that tuner, and it'll tell you. Uh, yay. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering how to make a respace, it's just two saw waves, a filter, and distortion. Just crank the drive up. That's about it. Yeah. Uh, just wanted to point something out real quick. Um, there's not too much to explain about this part of the process. It's just a matter of being decent at guitar and freestyling whatever sounds right, and hopefully something sounds right. Uh, not too not too much else to say about that. I don't really have any crazy theory behind it. It's just something you do. Oh God, look at all this work. That's so many notes to chop up. Oh, oh God. Okay, but all jokes aside, this took forever to make. Um, as of now, it's about four hours into the editing, <laughs> and uh, I'm still going. Could you please leave a like on the video? <laughs> all I'm doing here is using basically the default of the Hall of Vintage Verb preset and just turning the mix down so it's not too extreme. Nothing crazy. Um, yeah. Still some delay on here as well. Nothing crazy yet again. Basically just a slap back delay, but I'm bad at making slap back delay, so it's gonna be it's gonna be unfortunate. <laughs> One eternity later.
voiceover guy cast here uh, what I did here was I'm just changing the decay on that little accent to be seven seconds because the gap between the first third bars and the second third bar uh, or the third and the seven if you want to put it that way is exactly it's basically seven seconds so that's why I'm doing it if you're wondering Good rule of thumb when it comes to how to use accents properly, uh, in my opinion, is to have one in particular, obviously you can tell which one it is in this beat, that is very unique and can be played in certain areas where it doesn't stand out and it fits where it needs to be. And, uh, that's what this one is, obviously. Well, yeah, that's the video. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, do do the do the YouTube thing, right? Um... Please.